Hey everyone, hey everyone, hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a long time subscriber. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and watching. And this is going to be a get ready with me here, makeup and outfit. So let's get into it. So usually I start with my makeup first, but I decided on starting with my hair. So I'm gonna use some of this blue tansy serum. You need about a squirt or two for your whole head i'm going to use this to give me some slip and help me take these hair bands out usually i use my snap hair ties that's my preferred hair bands to use because they easily clasp on and off is very easy but i just went with my regular hair ties today i'm going to link those hair ties down below so this is a very old twist out this is from i don't know a while ago this is from when i did those mini twists Okay, this was like a week later and I was still preserving this hairstyle by banding my hair. And that just keeps my shape and also it stretches my hair some so I get some length. So as I am releasing the bands, I'm just going to fluff and shape and pick my hair, nothing to it. So I'm gonna let you guys watch that. You guys definitely have to let me know down below in the comments, do you like Get Ready With Me videos where I'm showing hair, makeup, and outfit. These videos are more detailed and I need more footage, but I would definitely do that for you guys if um, this continues to get a lot of views so let's hop right into the makeup all right my lips are feeling a little crusty all right let me put some gloss on this is from Urban Decay all right it's just a clear lip gloss and now it's actually time to do my brows um, I've been using different techniques lately um, I don't know uh, I'm trying to do the newer brow was just very lightweight and feathery uh, i didn't do that in this video i actually just did the same routine i usually do but i'm trying something different let me know if you guys want an updated eyebrow tutorial um like i said i've been doing them more feather like and not as thick and harsh as this brow um, but i do like this brow too so <laughs> don't get me wrong all right after filling my brows in I'm gonna use some concealer to conceal underneath my brows and to shape them. All right, I do add a little mascara to my brows just to set them. All right, now it's time to do the actual base. All right, I'm using my Urban Decay Face Primer to prime my face. I'm applying a pump or so all over my skin. Then I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Foundation. This is one of my favorite foundations because of the coverage, the shade match, and the undertone. It matches my skin so well and it sits beautifully. So for me, when it comes to makeup application, I like to press the foundation into my skin and then I can build it up that way. If I want more coverage, I'll add some more. But like I said in the beginning, this gives great coverage. Quick tip, if you are getting lines and you're not blending well, um, a way to check that out is just to use the flash on your camera. You can really see if you need to blend some more. Now I'm going to conceal. I'm using my Juvia's Place Concealer. This is in the number 12, um, but I'm going to apply this in the spots I like to highlight, all right? And I'm gonna do a little reverse contouring. That's why I applied it underneath my contour so my contour can stand out a lot more. And I'm using a dense brush to help me blend this out. Um, now I'm going in with my contour shade, all right? This is the Juvia's Place Concealer as well. This is in the number four i'm going to use a stiff brush again and really press that into my cheekbone like i said i press the product in and take my time and really blend this very well another tip if i feel like things aren't blended well i will go in with my foundation brush and blend all over my skin all over to ensure everything is seamless everything is smooth i got the coverage i need but also the blend i want now i'm adding an eye base to my lids this is from mac cosmetics all right, this is their eye base, and I'm just using this to ensure the eyeshadow stick and last on my eye. Then I'm going in with a little concealer just to brighten up my lids. If you guys know any eye bases you guys love and like, let me know down below. I need something that's very brightening, so when I do colorful looks, all the colors stand out. Now I'm using this old Ben Nye powder to set my eyes and my face. Um, this actually works really well. It's not heavy at all in my opinion, um, so I'm gonna use this to bake, just a little bake. All right, now going in with my contour, I'm using the Black Radiance, the contour palette just to enhance my contour. I'm gonna be sweeping this across my face. All right, now time for a blush. I love this Valentino blush they sent out to me. Um, I love the color and the tone of it. It's super rosy and it goes perfect with my skin. So I'm just going to blend this on my cheekbones, on my nose a little too. Probably hear a baby because seven's sitting in my lap, all right? <laughs> now I'm just sweeping away that powder. 
making sure everything is blended well and there's no excess powder on my skin. All right, I'm going in with my highlighter. This is the Glowy Powder from Pixie Beauty, and this is in the shade Wednesdays. This definitely has a pinky undertone. As you guys can tell, I'm going with some pinks and purples today. Now I'm gonna set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So let me know down below if you like when the video is zoomed in all the way so you guys can see the detail of what I'm doing. Let me know if you guys like that. Now I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Cyber Palette. I'm gonna take this rich orange it's like a corally orange it has some pink undertones in it i would say and i'm going to use this to create the eye shape i want i'm doing a halo eye so i'm applying some in the inner and outer corners and okay. then i'm going to blend it throughout my crease okay seven And the key with pigmentation, or if you want to build up the pigmentation, you just wanna pack on the color, all right? Just keep adding and adding more color, and the shadows will come out very vibrant. I actually use some of the blush where I place this orange at. That's why you see it's looking a little more coral. It's looking like it has a little pinkish undertone. I use some of that pink blush. I'm adding this eyeshadow on the lower lash line as well, and sweeping it across that area all right i'm gonna take this next shade right here and i'm actually gonna apply this on the center of my eyelids um i really love that this has some blue and brown reflex um this definitely looks so much better in person um so i'm gonna pack this on and then i'm gonna take this next shade and pack some over top of it all right i'm gonna apply this brighter shade in the lower inner corner this has more of a yellowish creamish i would say like a beige peach undertone okay it's just it's definitely going to brighten up the eye all right so i'm applying it in the upper inner corners too so i'm just really packing this on to brighten up the eye look and then i'm going in with this cool sky blue eyeshadow i think this is an eyeshadow base i'm just going to apply it in my waterline this is from urban decay um it definitely does last long on my waterline it wasn't bleeding or fading so i'm just going to apply this on my lower lash line and to really make the lower lash line stand out you want to take a darker brown or a darker purple anything you want i'm going to actually use that right underneath where I put that blue color in the waterline. And that's going to make that light blue stand out a lot more. Now I'm just applying some mascara and this is actually Urban Decay's Perversion, but this is in the waterproof formula. Um, like I said, I'm taking photos and yeah, it's, an, it's a day event. So I really want the mascara to stay and not bleed or crumble or anything. All right, lastly, it's time for lips. <laughs> Okay, oh, I think I did show my lashes or maybe I did it off camera. Now I'm taking this lip liner and I'm going to apply this all over. It's very creamy and movable. This is from Minted Cosmetics. So I'm going to use this on my lips first. All right, now I'm going in with this pink lipstick all over um so i didn't really like that i actually applied a gloss you can see off camera i did apply gloss and lashes and yeah it looked decent it wasn't that bad but i think i went with a different lip color later on um my go-to purple lip which is like a dark purple lip liner and then um a pink lipstick in the center I think I went with that. Um, this is the Alfa Deets. All right, some SB sneakers. All right, I have this purple hoodie as well. And then I also paired it with my, um, I guess, this would be my acid wash jeans. And yeah, this is the look, guys. I tried to get footage outside when I was taking the photos. Um, I wasn't behind the camera, my husband was, and he didn't turn up the ISO. It's okay, it was dark. It was dark trying to take these photos. All right, I think seven's ready to go, and so am I. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you wanna see more, and I'll see you all in the next one.